are off and you still have time to go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to try and do this in English. Um, let's start with a question. How many of you were at a word camp in Italy in 2014 or 2015? Oh, come on. Where you? Where, where? Where were you? Me? Yeah, you raise your hand. Uh, not in Italy. Okay. So, yeah, that's correct. There were no word camps in Italy between 2014 and 2015. There were two meetups, Milano and Roma, and they didn't meet very often. Okay, they had meetups, but things weren't going as they should be. So, my name is Francesca. I'm a WordPress professional from Italy. And today I'm here to talk about the Italian community, what we did in the last 12 months. Uh, hoping to get more of you involved, both in your local communities and the global project. So, WordPress in Italian. We had translations from the beginning. Uh, there was a very small group of contributors, but they did this. So here you see them, Paolo and Steve. They were the ones who started translating WordPress in Italian. They are the GTE for the project. And I'm sure that if it wasn't for these pioneers, um, today WordPress wouldn't be as popular as it is in Italy. But unfortunately, having a translation, having a localization is not enough to build a community. So how familiar are you with Italians? How well do you know us? And I'm doing this in purpose. How, do you, have you ever been to Italy? Yeah, do you know Italians? Yeah, you know them. <laughs> you know us. So, it's a beautiful country and we are amazing people, but in this particular matter of having a community, we face two issues. Uh, one of them is we don't speak English. We are very good at speaking with our hands, so you might have the feeling that we can do this, but it's all a show, a big show that we're doing. Even skilled developers, they know the jargon, but they can't carry a conversation. So if you can't talk to people and have a conversation, you cannot really connect. You can code together, that's good, but you can talk to people. And the other problem, it's not a problem, actually it's one of the most beautiful things we have in, in Italy, but on this particular issue is a problem. Uh, we are a huge country with big local differences cultural differences. We have, I don't know how many dialects, and some of them are recognized as languages, so they, they have their own localization of WordPress. And you have a dialect for every region, and every city has its own sub-dialect. And the farther you go in the south, the more people will speak to you in their dialect and not in Italian. So, despite having these amazing contributors, starting from polyglots, and then there were more people in other teams, and despite WordPress being very uh, popular in Italy, there was a total lack of offline activities. We didn't meet. We didn't even know we existed. And also there's another problem. So, I don't know, how many of you know how open source project works? Okay, so I knew nothing about it. <laughs> I've been making a living of WordPress since 2010, and I took and I took and I took and I never gave back because I didn't know I could give back. I'm not a developer, so I said, I mean, what can I do for this amazing project? Uh, turn out you can do quite a few things even if you can't code, and being part of a community is one of them. Uh, so, the majority of users of WordPress in Italy, they did something like this. They went to their hosting, they did a one-click install of WordPress, and that was it. Uh, the most fortunate, the one that understood a little bit how things worked, went to the locale, downloaded the WordPress, installed, and that was it. So yeah, that was the situation in Italy until last spring. So, how do you take this very sad wasteland I just described and turn it in a blossoming meadow that I think we are now? The people. Okay, so in spring.
spring 2015, there were two meetups in Rome, two meetups, one in Milano and one in Rome. They were meeting once in a while, and then all of a sudden things started exploding. People were talking about WordPress everywhere. People wanted to do th stuff all the time. And there were different people, different groups of people who started working on it. So on May 2015 at a conference, I met this guy. Do you, do you know? Some of you know this guy, okay? So his name is Luca Sartoni. He's a growth engineer at Automatic. And the dude likes to talk like four hours. He can't stop. Okay, so WordPress is his favorite, I think, all time discussion. And then he can talk about A-B testing and growth engineering. And I don't even know what it is, growth engineering, but he talks a lot about it. But mostly he likes to talk about community. And he really wanted to push us and have an Italian community. So I met him and somehow in a couple of hours, he convinced me to start a meetup in Torino and start translating. I had a friend, Ivan, over there with the striped t-shirt. Uh, and he was also talking about, we were talking about starting a meetup, let's do this, but we were blah, 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 talking, talking all the time and we never did anything. So Luca type, likes to talk, but he's also wise. And you know, he knew that other two people wanted to do the same in Torino. One of them is here, Maurizio. Yeah, he's there. You can see him here. And Cristiano. And Luca thought, if we put them together, and we couldn't be more different from each other because I'm taking care of business, even as a web designer, they are the hardcore developer dudes. And like, we didn't know what hit us because it was meeting for the first time some different universe. And we did this. This is the first meetup we had in Torino. We, 60 people showed up. I think we didn't know what we were doing. The, the evening, if I'm thinking about it now, it was a little bit weird. We had no direction. I mean, I babbled on stage for five minutes about how WordPress changed my life. And then there was another speech and Maurizio gave a super technical speech. There was no connection between any of the things, but somehow it worked. And it worked so well that at the same meetup, Oleg and Lyuba, Lyuba is also here, hello Lyuba, <laughs> said, hey, we want to join you. It looks like, even if you, it looks like you have no idea what you're doing, it looks like fun. We want to come with you. So yeah, there we are in December, the six of us, having fun and doing this. In the meantime, there was another group of people from Barletta, Bologna, Brescia, Genova, other cities in Italy. I call them the fearless ones because they were the ones who did what our grandparents did two centuries ago. They expatriate. They, went, they became WordCamp expats. They went to WordCamps around Europe and some of them spoke even, like Franz here. Some of them volunteered and it was very exciting for them and they really wanted to share this with someone. So they liked what they saw and they came back to Italy and they say, we want to do this. We want to have this in Italy. We don't want to expatriate to go to word camps. We want to do this here at home. Have you been to word camp Seville? Who's been, who was at word camp Seville? Europe. Europe, sorry, Petya, word camp Europe. So, sorry, I wasn't there and I'm very sad about it. But I knew something big was going on because even though I wasn't there for 72 hours, people pinged me like constantly. And so I knew something big was going to happen after, after Seville. A bunch of people met there, about 10. I think there were about 10 Italians. And that's the moment where they, came, they went from dreaming to planning to action. It was very quick and it happened. In July, we started using again our Rosetta site. Do you, um, how many of you are not American or? Mm? So you all have locales, okay? So in your locale site, you have a, a, a blog feature and you should use it. It's great because you can push information from there. 
Everything you write in your blog, Rosetta blog can be fed to your dashboard of the localized version of WordPress that you're using. And, and it's cool, you can talk to people. People at the beginning, they will not notice because they're used to get the WP Tavern and other stuff in there. But then at some point, they will see that the content is different now. And people started noticing that there were news in Italian and people started seeing their city's name on the dashboard. I was like, whoa, what is Bologna doing here? I mean, isn't this the WordPress feed? So people started noticing, people started showing up more to meetups and people wanted to open more meetups because they saw Torino, Genova, Roma, Bologna, Brescia, whatever, and they wanted to have their own meetup too. So Rosetta is great to push information and I really, really suggest you go and use it. I don't know who, you get in touch with your local team and say, hey, let's use it to build a community because it's a great tool. But we also needed to talk. We are Italians after all. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we wanted to help each other and we wanted to share the excitement. We are easily excited about this kind of stuff. So here are the true heroes of the story, Franz and Francesco. They were the ones who opened the Slack instance for the Italian community. And this made all the difference in the world because then we really started to talk to each other. Uh, having meetups all over Italy was great. Every city, some cities were doing better, other cities were a little bit struggling. So the offline activities were doing great, but we really wanted to talk to each other and help each other. And we wanted to go big. We say, hey, we went from zero to eight meetups. Now we want to want more. We want to have a word camp. We want to maybe apply to have a word camp Europe. I don't know. So let's do this. We really needed to chat. And yeah, chatting, we did. We did a lot of that. <laughs> we wrote for hours. And it was amazing. It was the, we called it the WordPress summer of love in Italy because <laughs> Yeah, we had so much fun. We, you had people at every time talking and suggesting things and I don't know, it was great and it was really exciting. We opened channels for every meetup. We opened channels for uh, freelancers to exchange information. We opened channels for uh, TV shows. I don't know, I pushed to open a random channel to have gifts and have random talks, but nobody's coming in, so I'm always talking by myself and it's a little bit sad. But yeah, we planned posts on, on Rosetta, we built an editorial calendar, we had town hall meetings, uh, we wrote guides to get into Slack, because it's not very easy to get into Slack, okay, <laughs> if you have a local uh, group. So by the end of August, we had eight meetups, and now we, we counted this last week, we have 12 and two more are coming thanks to Taco that is always pestering people to open up new meetups. So there are going to be other two meetups in Italy thanks to Taco and his talk. So yeah, we talk, we talk, we chatted, we wrote, we hang out, we did everything. But after summer, we really want to get together. We really want to meet each other talk face to face because Slack is excellent, but we really needed to sit around the table, have some food and talk. So with the help of Sara Rosso from Automatic and your own Jenny Wong, we went on and we carried out a bizarre plan, something not very common, a standalone contributor day and it was great and I really recommend you organize this because they are great events. We would meet for one day in Milano, that was a bit central to everyone and we would get to know each other and also learn how to contribute to WordPress because at that point we had the local meetups but we were still not very strong on the contributing part. 
It took us a couple of months to organize this. There were people from uh, Milano, Torino, and Barletta who organized this. Barletta is like a thousand kilometers from Milano, so it's a big deal to organize this kind of event in Milano and come up from Barletta, 10 people. We had endless discussions on the most important thing of all, which is food. <laughs> Yeah, that, well, the two main discussions were food and the WAPU. <laughs> yeah, Sarah got in touch with some lead contributors and it was great. We had a couple of sponsors that helped us with the food and there were a bunch of people who came to help us. I'm very happy to see some of you here today. You really made a difference for us, so thank you. So people came and they helped us. And they helped us working, of course, but they really helped us understand the true meaning of contributing and giving back. And the most important thing they did for us, they showed. They didn't just tell us. They didn't just say, go to the handbook. They sat with us and they say, you see here, this is where you do this. You see that, that's how you do it. Let's do this together. Okay, you should do that until... Uh, they did it with us. They didn't just send instructions. The people came and they talked to us. Uh, it was very neat. I mean, Petya and John were there and who else was there? No, no, no one else. It was good. It was. So, yeah, so what we took home from this was, of course, the work, but also the attitude to do more, to help more people and to really give back. And we really, at that point, I think it was a little bit obsessive. We were like going around evangelizing people about WordPress. <laughs> we looked a little bit crazy. And what we learned, we really wanted to take home. And, and we worked in many teams. There were many teams the same day, but I think there were th three teams that really made the difference for all the community in Italy. One of them is community. Um, here you see us working at the con contributor table. We, we had a very good time. Uh, we learned some best practices. Uh, Jenny helped us with some very practical stuff, like what to do if you're stuck in a meetup and nobody wants to talk. And you don't want to have a meetup, but it's always a speaker and the attendees and, you know, the distance between them. So she taught us a lot of things, how to make this fun and help other people do this. Of course, we had polyglots. Thank you, Petya. And yeah, go translate all the things. Because, you know, now the, the, localized, the inter, in localized versions of WordPress have surpassed the number of downloads of American English WordPress. So, yeah, it's important to translate, okay? And translate all the things for the people that could probably help do other stuff if that stuff is in Italian. If it's in English, it's a barrier that not everyone can cross. And support. Support is super, super, super important. There are no stupid questions. You don't need to be an experienced developer to help in the forums. Do you, know one, do you all know how to install WordPress? Through an FTP? Okay, so if you know that, you must know that in the forums there are a bunch of people asking for help with this. So even if it's, this is the only thing that you know how to do in WordPress, go and help someone else do it. You will make their day and you will feel good about it. So it's a win-win for everyone. We now have also a localized version of a forum. We were one of the first to have a BB2 whatever. And, <laughs> and we, <laughs> yeah, I say that I'm not a developer. I don't, I don't care about that stuff. I just care that it works and it's fine and everybody has a good time. So we have a couple of people who are very invested in helping and moderating and answering. And if there is a support forum in your language, please, please, please go do, go help everyone who needs help. This is so important. And yeah, we're good. <laughs> so finally, during this event, we sent out uh, the application for WordCamp Torino. 
That was the first World Camp in Italy since 2013. And last week, 300 of us met in Torino to have the World Camp. And that's World Camp Torino. Yeah. We had a pretty ter good turnout. We, had three, we sold 310 tickets, 290 people showed up. We had 17 volunteers, we had 24 speakers, and we had nine organizers. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we also had talks in English because we felt good about um, having a more open uh, community. So we focused on the local, but we were also very happy to have international speaker coming. I think at this point they're coming because they're really enjoying the food and the culture, not because they really want to speak at a work camp in Italy, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so they came. That's, that's the important thing. And we had an amazing contributor day. And when I say amazing, I really mean it. We had 100 people showing up. It's one third of all the people that were at World Camp. And trust me, this is a huge number. In World Camp US in Philadelphia, they had 1,800 1, tickets and only just 300 people showed up for the contributor day. So having one third of the people there, it's a huge achievement. So we have some old friends showed up and came to talk to us about translation. For example, in this case, it's Paolo that you saw in the first slide. Uh, we had core, we had mobile, we had support, we had TV. I don't know what else we had. We had a, the whole spectrum. It was very nice. We onboarded new people. We tightened bonds with people that we already know, and we made new friends. Here is Andrea. Maybe some of you know him. He was at WordCamp Europe, both in Leiden, Sofia and Seville. He's really into it, like he travels to go there. So here he is sitting in Seville. He's not alone. He has another Italian friend, but it was more dramatic to have the photo of him alone. So for the purpose of the presentation <laughs> and 10 months later, yay for Andrea. He was one of the volunteers. So we are here in track B in London. It's a pretty fancy and big word camp. And some of you are already involved in the community. How many of you are involved somehow in the community work? Not core, not mm, the technical stuff. I don't care about the technical stuff. OK, it's a nice number. So for the other of you, are you asking yourself how to become more like Andrea? Are you? Would you like to be more like Andrea? Yeah, no? No definitive answer? OK. <laughs> so here is how you do more like Andrea and you enjoy your being part of a community. Show up. First of all, show up. Here today, of course, but try to actively and continuously show up. Go to your local meetup. This is so important. If there isn't one, start one. Uh, apply to host a WordCamp. You, might, uh, you might, might get the idea after London that word camps need to be this. They don't need to be this. They can be 50 people at a community center with a sandwich brought from home. You don't need it to be catered. You don't need it to be sponsored. You just need 50 people in a room talking about WordPress and enjoying the day together. Help others have a body system in place. What I mean by a body system, this, this, is was, this is why Slack was so important for us, because some meetups were doing really great, and some of them were struggling a little bit. So they started asking questions, and they say, how do you do that in Torino? How do you do that in Roma? Or we want to put out a flyer, but we have no designers with us. Do you have a design ready? Um, so this really helped. And also make help others in your local meetup. Because if you always have these speeches where there is a speaker and the audience, people will not get involved. So you have to pester people. Really like go there like a jackhammer and say, next time you're a speaker. No, no, I'm shy. No, I don't care. Next time you're a speaker. Or do Q&As. Do unconferences. 
uh, do contributing sprints. They are very, very good. Like get all the polyglots together for one morning and do that. And everyone will feel and make everyone feel welcome and help everyone. So also help other people in other communities. If you have a system to communicate between you, help others. If you see that a city is struggling a little bit, help them out. Hand a, lend a hand. If you are struggling, ask for help. Don't be bitter about the fact that nobody shows up to your meetup. Ask to other people to help you out. And they will. Make it inclusive. I'm, I'm really, uh, this is something very, very important for me. So I'm going to read something from the Code of Conduct. Uh, we are committed to providing a friendly, safe and welcoming environment for all, regardless of gender, sexual orientation, disability, ethnicity, religion, preferred operating system, programming language or text editor. This is from the Code of Conduct. All the work camps need to have one. Uh, Meetups are not formally required to have one, but I strongly suggest you to go, read it, understand it, embrace it. It's there for your own good. It's there for our own good. It will help us make it better for everyone. Encourage div diversity. In Torino, we have an amazing group. We have so many female coming up to the group because of this, because we are there again. We're showing, we're not telling, we're going to the meetup. The meetup is not something for 20-something um, white male developers. It's for everyone. And last but not least, <laughs> have fun. I mean, don't be heavy about it. Don't be super stressed about having sponsors and having speakers. Just go there and have fun. Talk about your favorite topic, that is WordPress. Have some pizza. Have a shepherd pie, or I don't know what you eat in this part of the world. Just make it a social event. Make it a social event. Uh, you don't need a sponsor to do so. You just need a good attitude for potluck nights. Do you, do you know what potluck nights are? They're so fun. You should have one and talk about WordPress and there you go, you have a meetup. So, this is our story. I'm very proud and honored to be here in London telling about the Italians. Uh, I hope you heard something that will be valuable and helpful to kickstart your community or revive it as it was in our case. And if you have any questions, I'm here for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a very good talk. We'll open up the floor now. If there are any questions, can you place your hand in the air? Hello. Hi. Have you got any uh, word camps planned in Italy for the coming year? Yes, we do. <laughs> so, word camp Milano just applied. And they are having the orientation talk this week. So WordCamp Milano is coming up. I think it will be in October. We have to coordinate with you Dutch people because we like you and we want to come to your camp and we hope you're coming back to our camps. So yeah. Uh, WordCamp Rome is going to apply, I think, in May. And there are talks about Puglia, which will be very good. And I don't know, anyone who wants to have a work. I think after the first one, uh, it will be much easier because we have the experience and we can also help all the other people that want to apply and hopefully many people will apply to host the word camp in Italy. So yeah, please join us. We're, we're really fun even though we don't speak English and we do this all the time. <laughs> Perhaps even word camp Europe 2000? Who knows? <laughs> um, there was a hand over here I think. Was there any other, any other questions over here? Hey, Fred, thanks for your talk. It was really great. Uh, reliving everything. It's almost uh, awesome. 
Could you tell us, you mentioned you're going to help like other local organizers. Do you have a centralized kind of team for support for WordCamps? Or? No, we're just obsessed about it. So right. whenever somebody has something, what we do, we have the Slack, um, the Italian w, Italia WP community uh, Slack. And yeah, we comb through all the chats and as right. soon as we pick up people. <laughs> so <laughs> even if you're not like local to the town that's planning an event, yeah. you, you help the locals yeah. organize that? Absolutely. Uh, last week there was a lengthy dis discussion in um, WP Catania. Okay. They, they have been trying to start a meetup for like one year, I think. At some point, some of us will just flew there and do that because sometimes you also need that. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes you really need the jackhammer that goes and say, "Now we're going to do this. Let's stop talking about it." And does it continue after that? I mean, do you if you if you go do it for them? Do you think that no, no, we don't really go do. But but we really encourage them to. I mean, I would go to Catania because the food is amazing. So yeah, I probably would, would go there if they don't pick it up soon. I think I'll go there. And start this for them. But what we're doing with them, for example, um, one of the organizers in Torino, Oleg, I, because I, I, I watch what he's doing, I, I've seen it, like once in a week, he goes there and says, so, so what's going on? Right. What are you doing with this? And a few days after WordCamp, I saw they had a lengthy conversation where he was telling them, like, do that, da, 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 da. And if you need help with this, ask that one. And if you need help with that, that. And at some point, I think we, we just sent them a Google Hangout invite and say, OK, we're meeting for a Hangout. I'm going to tell you what to do. OK, great. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Thanks. Any more questions in the audience? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, would you like someone to come over and set up Florence? And set up? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Florence oh, yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, Florence awesome. doesn't have a meetup. Awesome. Firenze. Firenze doesn't have. You're invited. <laughs> but first, you have to start in Kent. OK. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who here has um, a local meetup? So lots of hands. Who here is going to go set up and get involved in their local meetup after? Yes, that's the spirit. Uh, OK. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic talk. <laughs>